Hi there, it's Lisa from Lavender Arts and Crafts. Happy spring! So have any of you out there jumped on this craze of creating a fairy garden in your backyard? I did a couple years ago. Um, I made a little fairy garden at the base of a tree in my backyard and I really had a lot of fun with it. I made a house for the fairy and a little path and a fence and I planted some flowers in there, and it's really been a lot of fun. So today, I wanna to show you how to decorate a house for your fairy garden. And I have here one that I made several years ago, and um, it's held up really well. You can see I've decorated it with stone and some little sticks on the roof. I even bought a door at a craft store that I stuck on there. So that's what we are going to make today, and let me show you what you're gonna need. Okay, so the things we're going to need to make this fairy garden house are um, a birdhouse. You can get this for about $5 at a craft store. I kind of like the round one, but you can choose any style that you'd like. And we're going to break this perch off. This is going to be the window of our house. You're also going to need some paint. You're going to need a color for the base, and I'm going to paint a door on mine. So I've got gray to be a base coat on the house and brown for my door. You're also going to need a paintbrush or two. Then for the mosaic materials, we're going to um, stick it on with caulk. So you can either buy it in a tube or the traditional caulk gun like this at any hardware store. You're also going to need something to spread it with. I'm going to use this popsicle stick. Um, I got some stones. You could either collect these from out in the wilderness or you could buy them at a craft store. And then, as you saw in my sample, we also have some sticks. These I just collected from my backyard and they're trimmed to about four and a half or five inches long. Then I have a little bit of glitter because it's a fairy's house, so we gotta have a little bit of fairy dust on there. And I have some little artificial flowers that I might stick on there, here and there. So those are the supplies that we have, and now we're going to get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your wood birdhouse, and you're gonna break this perch off, and then we're gonna give it a good base coat of acrylic paint because this is gonna be outside. You wanna make sure you paint the bottom for sure and the rest of it, that'll protect it against the water. So let's get started with that step. Okay, I finished painting the base coat on my birdhouse. I did one coat of gray, and on the bottom I did two coats because I do plan to keep this outside, so I wanted some added protection against the ground. Um, and you can see that I drew a door on here first with a pencil, and I painted that a couple of shades of brown to mimic um, the wood grain. And then over here, this is the spot where I pulled out the perch, and I just wiggled it back and forth a few times and pulled it right out. Your five-year-old son could do it. There's a hole there, but we don't need to worry about that because that's gonna be covered up by stones. So now we're ready to move on to the next step of this project, which is we're gonna put a layer of caulk on there. So you're gonna get out your caulk gun and just squeeze it a really thick layer on the entire bottom part except for the door. Now we're not gonna cover the roof just yet because we wanna be able to touch the roof to help us move the birdhouse while we're doing this bottom section. Um, so you're gonna squeeze your caulk on there, spread it around with your wooden stick or a plastic spoon or something like that. And then you're gonna start arranging your stones. And you wanna press the stones firmly into the caulk so that it sort of squishes out in between them. And you're gonna start at the bottom and kind of work your way up with each section. And that'll help keep them from sliding until they're dry. 
So that's what we're going to do right now, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Okay, you can see behind me that I have the stones finished on the bottom section of the birdhouse and I used white caulk for that and I also sprinkled some glitter on there while it was still wet to make it sparkly. Um, so now that that's done, we can do the roof. So I've decided to use gray caulk for the roof because I think it'll blend in a little bit better with the sticks. So I'm switching my caulk color and then I've got my, my five inch sections of sticks. So I'm just going to repeat the same process. I'm going to cover the entire roof with the gray caulk and spread it around and then I'm just going to arrange the sticks. finished doing my roof and did you notice that I used white caulk instead of gray? I went to use the gray and it was dried out. So sometimes we have to improvise when we're doing a craft project. So I used white instead. I still think it looks cute. And then I tucked a few of the artificial flowers here and there because it is a fairy garden house. So now I'm going to let it dry overnight and then my fairy is going to get a next door neighbor. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.